It's a new episode of We Are 757, the show. We got the Wilson family in the building. How y'all doing? All right. I know I want to first talk of what about these state championship, man? How, how's the coronavirus killing y'all vibe right now? <laughs> for real, for real. We should have been at the hotel, chilling with the guys, had a good environment at VCU, played a good game of basketball then. It would just be a fun one. But no. coronavirus ruined it. <laughs> How y'all feel, coaches? Um, yeah, honestly. It's bittersweet, man. Like, my seniors, they really didn't get the chance to, you know, showcase their talents one last time. And, I mean, we happy that we considered champs, but we really wanted to go out there and get some advantage on Kings for a team we respect, but, you know, we wanted to battle. Mm -hmm. How you feel, Green? I mean, honestly speaking, it, 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 make, it makes it hard for us to determine if we really are, are or not state championships because, you know, a lot of people in the city be like, well, you know, the, the rep that Wilson had, we wanted to put our stamp on. Look, we not just we, it, Wilson ain't sorry. Uh -huh. You know what I'm Wilson Wilson got two great coaches and a bunch of great players, and you know the whole season, no matter how many times we lost or won, is always oh Wilson did the same garbage Wilson. Did. I think I felt like us going in there and winning that state championship the right way and the way that, the traditional way, I guess the right the traditional way would have stepped our, our approval, you know. But either way, me and coach look at these kids like you know it's the best players that came through Wilson. Mm-hmm. That's a fact. Whoa, whoa. It was y'all two, what, two years ago y'all was playing JV? Yeah. I seen the video, you was like, stay champ next year. Yes. <laughs> yes. That was two, two years ago? Yeah. Two years ago. They said it. James said we'll stick together and break a title. And you do that shit. Yeah. So, you, so you played with like Jaden and Jelani and Kanye all of them growing up. How you feel like that y'all class is like doing so well? I mean, it's good like to see like everybody we done grew up with, we all like, good at basketball, everybody, like we still friends off the court and then on the court we just battle and it's just like fun. Mm. <laughs> How about you? How you feel? I heard you went to a different school <laughs> in the beginning because I can't even practice and I was like, where now is that? What, what made you make that decision? That was a football move because you know I play both sports so like, but we'll see, you know, they're not really bad. The force, and that's not where it's at. Like, uh -huh. it's like I'm gonna try this next year to get right for for most, but last year I, was, I couldn't do it on them. That's, that's the truth. That's how I felt. So I just tried to make something work. Get over there, see grass ain't green on the other side. Uh -huh. So I came back home, I got this. I had a ring on in a couple months. <laughs> <laughs> how you feel, MJ? Because I, I have never seen you play before. And you was like a new face, but. I was like, yo, who is this kid? I didn't know he was a freshman either. I mean, I feel good. Because, you know, the reason why I came to Wilson is because I got cut from varsity at Norfolk Christian. Oh, and okay. They wanted me to play JV, and I felt like I had the potential to play varsity. And the coach right here was like, the reason why I like, I like the Wilson, like all the other coaches just wanted me for basketball. Uh -huh. He was like, if you come over here, no matter what you do, I'm still going to mess with you. Like, you can talk to me about stuff. So that's why I feel like I had a relationship with him. Cool. That's what's up. So you you originally from Hopewell, right? Yeah. What made right. you come to seven five seven to coach? Um, actually, I moved down here because you know, I'm like I was kind of tired of being Hopewell, and you know my wife is from this area, so you know I applied to some school down here, and you know I got a job offer from Virginia Beach and all that, but I felt like Portsmouth reminded me so much of home. I wanted to get back to my people, so. Uh -huh. You know, I, I got accepted to Wilson, Norco Man Church, but Wilson offered me first, and I just felt the family atmosphere, and the rest is history, you know. Did you come in wanting to coach or have a job yet? Oh, um, not really. I, like, I always wanted to be a coach, but I was just, you know, doing the math thing, being a teacher, and then my passion always was for basketball. And I'm like, you know, let me, speak, let me see who these people is right here, the 80, you know. So I talked to them. It's funny that the first year he actually let Dr. Johnson allow me to do it, I ain't have my lesson plans the next day. So he was like, oh no, you can't be no coach if you ain't gonna do your number one job. Mm -hmm. So that lesson, that taught me right there, like I gotta do what I'm supposed to do, handle my responsibilities, 
Yeah, after that, um, me and Kobe Mike Holland, we were like cool head coaches on the JV squad. So I pretty much learned from him. And then that's the year after that, my third year at Wilson, I got these two young fellas right here. Man, that team was special. And we just knew from there, like, oh, this this, this thing really changed. What was y'all record then? Y'all only lost like one 20 and two. two. We lost the first game because I had to sit him down for disciplinary <laughs> reasons. Just the late Taylor game. Yeah, that was the late Taylor game. And then we lost to Norview. We missed like 30 free throws and we only lost by like five. But other than, as James said in that little interview, we should have been undefeated. And I just knew them guys, they just had it in them. I'm like, that's a different group of kids right here. And look here, two years later, yeah. take it how you want, we stay champ. How many games did y'all win last year? Five. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I did, I did, you know, I, I'm the type, I love sports so much, I go uh -huh. way back. Uh -huh. The last four years, they only won 18 games total. I know. Yeah. And this year, we 19, 20. So, man, hats off to these kids that people can say what they want. Oh, ain't no such thing as Coast State champs. Man, at the end of the day, you can't say just because they beat us two weeks ago on their home court that Richmond is neutral. They ain't uh -huh. had no biases to nobody around here. That's why I said I, I would love to play the game. So, I mean, you know, hype my guy. I would love to set up something like a benefit game for Wilson and Kenfro uh -huh. from here on out. That's what I'm going to reach out to him about. You know, that's all yeah. for it. Yeah, I think, I think they should do that for all y'all. Yeah. Because of what? Lakeland? What? Lakeland State Champs? Wilson State Champs? Yeah. <laughs> It's so what five teams from yeah. 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 North yeah. Green Run. Yeah, that's 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 crazy. Um, how you feel about uh, Wilson come up? I mean, I, like I told Coach, man, I you know my cousin Slim Jordan, he played for Wilson from '04 to 2007. Um, I watched him get I watched him get beat so many times like against <laughs> Nut Nash and River, the uh -huh. Booker Tees of the world. This one like That's when Eastern District was tough. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It was yeah. you could not lose a game in Eastern District. Like you you had Norview, you had KD, you know, um Booker T had James Van and those guys over there, uh Scott um uh, Scott um uh, your boy Miles Holly there, all of them, I was watching them get beat by like 50, 40 points a game and the one time that they did win a game was when Miles had got hurt. Mm -hmm. And they snuck one in. They still was one in twenty one. Yeah. So I've I've seen the the lows and the watch it come to this point. Let's us know that either one he's either one of these guys is just extremely extremely good, or we just doing a great job of keeping these guys together now. And you know, with back then it was it wasn't a lot of transferring and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the one thing I put emphasis on is that these aren't transfer kids. He lives in Wilson's district. He lives in Wilson's district. He lives in Wilson's district. And there's not a lot of hey, let me hey, you should come over here to Wilson. We don't we don't operate like that. We build everybody from day one all the way up, and that's what we've been doing. You know, with the seniors, Sean Hogger, Dontre Brown, and Justin Green, we had those guys since day one. You know, but watching the transformation, man, and, and like I said, don't get me wrong, Wilson had a couple of great guys. You know, Calvin Brown, David Nixon, those guys, and but. Man, like to see see it like this and see guys like Khalil Davis, you know, MJ come through and it just makes us realize that it's it's talent in the city of Portsmouth, you know, mm -hmm. and, it, and as long as it's not big the transfer we should be good, you know what I mean? Like but <laughs> I'm just being real, you know, like and we get we get tired of hearing, Oh, this school is so much better than this school and in all actuality, some of these kids is supposed to be at one school, yeah, yeah, yeah. but because his parent disagrees or this his kid disagrees with this school, you know, swing him over to a school that's already good. But, you know, I'm just happy to see Wilson on the map finally. You know, they, they've been, we've been working too hard for it and with the amount of coaches that's been put in, in front of him as far as giving him that job initially, I just feel like, honestly speaking, they got the right guy in charge now. And I feel like he's doing an amazing job with keeping the program in check. And um, the development stages is, is looking very good in the future. Yeah, I feel like what once Northam, I guess, started winning, then they all the kids, I guess, started going that way. What made you decide to stay? Well, Cause I know they tried to get you early, supposedly, right? Yeah, uh, made me decide to stay. It was like, cause I did go there after my eighth grade season, cause I ain't played middle school ball. I went straight to Wilson. So when I played there. But Will said, I was like, oh yeah, this is a family. And Drew always told me he don't care where I go, he always gonna be a type of coach to always be have a relationship with me. So I was like, I took that to granted. So I ended up staying at Wilson. Plus my mama told me she was like, she'll never take let me go to North because like the environment it was and she ain't gonna be start messing up when I got to high school. 
Because like my brother, when he got with You say your brother went there? Yeah, and he started doing like everything. Just wilding out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. How was your football when you went? Did, did y'all do well when you transferred to football? Yeah, all right. Like <laughs> six and four. Like, <laughs> they, they lost a little way, I think. But so yeah, I, I, I didn't feel the season though. I feel I had to get out of there. I don't want it. Like, I, I, it's crazy. I, I, I kind of liked it the beginning of the season, mm -hmm. but towards like the end, I seen like the North one. That's, that's, it's, if, it's for people who fit like fit them. That don't fit me. I'm a Wilson kid. I can't go that school. It's different with this. I feel like uh, like each all the Portsmouth schools y'all having like y'all time like North had their time they obviously going downhill. Yeah. Churchland did well last year. They went to the states last year. Now it's y'all turn. I mean, I feel like I feel like people know Portsmouth schools now. Like usually it was just Eastern District or you would say there's some schools in the beach a little bit, but Eastern District always been tough and then. <clears throat> I just been like at the bottom of the barrel, but I, I like it. Um, James, you got hurt. How how'd you get hurt? Mm -hmm. What happened? So I went up for the layup. Who y'all playing? Lafayette. So, dude, <laughs> he running. So I seen him, but he won't like set nothing. So before I got to him, he was already falling back, like trying to flop. So when I laid it up, I was already like, the ball was already out of my hand and everything. So he fit, like he already falling back before I got to him. So when I'm falling on the ground, he pushed my leg up. So I tried to fall. And then when I tried to stop my hand, so when I did, his head slid back. And my arm popped up, so I flipped over. Then I tried to get up. I was like, well, I can't get up. So I seen my hand. I just got to yell in some more. How'd y'all feel about that? Oh man. Were y'all blowing the team out at least? No, no I was the first, the, game, game, like the first two minutes of the game, man. You know, they're like, coach, go over there. And I'm be honest, I'm like, you know, I'm not a nurse, I'm not a trainer. <laughs> so I mean, you know, eventually I, I go over there and then, you know, I look, I'm like, yo, I'm I'm, I'm devastated. I'm like, yo. Uh, like I couldn't even coach. They had Green and Nubo had to tell me, yo, lock back in. I'm like, yo, this I had this kid since they grade, you know, he like family. It's like his I saw his wrist, I'm like, oh and I'm honest when I saw him like He's done for the season. There's no way. It was, it was like, it was just nasty. So then I had to hurry up, stick for his dad to come. You know, his dad going off. Yeah. Man, that won't no damn charge. You know, so we laughing. <laughs> I'm like, and then James went and let her pop it back in. I mean, maybe it would have came back earlier had he let her pop it back in. But, you know, he a kid. So he saw that like, no, he thinking the same thing. Like, oh, it's nasty. So I'm like, oh, how, how are we going to get through this? And we pulled it out. It was a back and forth game. I think we ended up being 56, 52. And from that day, I'm like, yo, this team bother tested. I think we ended up going to, we played Lake Taylor at the next game without it. And, you know, we down one at the halftime. So I gave these guys a little speech, like, y'all need to step the hell up. This team should, without, with or without James, we better than this team. I think we ended up winning the second half, like 40 to 19 or something like that. Yeah. We just dominated. I heard you stepped up that game and you started balling. Well, how, how you feel about that? Uh, coming in and taking uh, some just felt like the next man up, and I was ready for it. Like, for real. How'd y'all believe in him? Honestly, like, for real, he had, a, he had a solid game against Lake Taylor. He had a solid game, but Jamarcus really, he went for 27 at that. But his breakout game came against Booker T the following game. Okay. But you know, we was up by like six at the half. Third quarter, they come out on a three point barrage. They hit threes from everywhere. Yeah, so we ended up going down by like 14 with. Two minutes and thirty seconds. Two, three, and this, two, yeah, and this one I knew this kid was legit. He looked at me. I'm, I'm ready to make the sub. Like, just go ahead and throw the towel. In. Him and Nas and them guys said, "Nah, -uh. we've been here before." Yeah. Remember when we was on JV down seventeen against Western Branch and Farley with a running. I'm like, you know what? Let's go. He cramping up everything. Got to get mustard packs. Man, this kid put on the show. We come back and win that game. I said, "Yo, this team got it." A lot of people don't know what it is. I said, this team got the, the it factor. Like, they're not going to lay down to nobody. And we ended up going 11 and 0. And our first wake up call was that movie game when we got smacked. Like, mm -hmm. like, yo, we're not as good as we think we are. What, what was the, uh, what was y'all ranking? What was the highest y'all was at? 11 and 0. 11 and 0. Yeah, and 0. We got smacked by Northern. And then turned around and <laughs> lose to that team in North Carolina because they switched our opponent. Yeah. But, yeah, it, yeah you know, yeah. it is what it is. And, you know, every, everything happens for a reason. Like they say, you can't question everything. His injury was a blessing in disguise because it allowed other guys to get going. And 
Mm-hmm. You know, and then when we got him back, I tell him, like, not to be cocky or anything, I'll play any team in the state full strength. Yeah. Like, he's still not 100%. At full strength, I'll play anybody. Because we were smacking people at full strength. How'd y'all feel about that Northern game playing at home? Yeah. <laughs> I was mad. <laughs> Taking that L in front of y'all whole crowd. <sighs> I don't know. I don't even know why. I, I thought <laughs> it's, it's crazy because Corey. Corey turned to text me. He's like, what the hell is going on? I'm like, he caught him on the bus back. I, I beat Norview that day because I was, was coaching the JV game. I beat Norview. I came back like, what do you mean what's going on? He was like, yo, you better call somebody or check on y'all. I was like, what happened? These niggas hit like, <laughs> you know, Corey, these niggas hit like six threes in the first class. I said, oh, 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 I'm texting everybody. Nobody responded. I get there and look up. I said, oh, my God. So I sit down and was like, yo, damn. He said, yo, they have not missed a three yet. I was like, in here? Because we had just replaced the rim on our on the good side of our court. They hadn't missed a three yet. Yeah, when we get there. Like we needed that, though, for real. Like, we was trying to get a, a fight. Head of ourselves, like, yeah, yeah, all the media. <laughs> and then another yeah. thing, me, me being the coach I am, that's why I love me so much. I took the blame for that loss because every good team got an identity. And MJ could take, I switched our identity. I went to that little dumb zone. Mm-hmm. Instead of doing our normal mm-hmm. press, we switched to a zone. That's something I never do. I changed our identity. So the guys, the MJ looking at me like, what we doing? Mm-hmm. He, him and Jay, that, oh, everybody used to start doing our 2 2 one You're going to have to beat me doing that. I switched to a one, two, two, and they were bombing three. By the time I switched back, you know, the rest of the game was even killed. Just we lost the first quarter so bad, and we was reeling from there. Mm. And then the second time we playing, get James back, no Khalil. So it's like, yo, I couldn't even play this. <laughs> they, they good. Don't get me wrong. And they prepared us for this state run that we went on because yeah. if you look, we had seven losses. We lost to a solid Norfolk team, and Norfolk we should have lost. <laughs> we lost to Churchill. Uh-huh. You know, Norview twice. Maury got us at Maury. So I'm like, no, no quality losses if you ask me. Oh, we lost to Kingsport at Kingsport. You know, ain't nobody really blow us out for real. Except for the Northern guys. Mm-hmm. How y'all feel about those uh, rivalry games at those Churchland? Those are the best North ones. Games. Yeah. Are those games better than playing the Norfolk school? Oh, definitely. Yeah, I, I, I ain't getting the time this shit though. So. <laughs> I rather play the Norfolk crowd. They, they, more, they more like, they more get me out of my comfort zone. I like being out of my comfort zone. I don't like being comfortable. I don't like playing Norfolk. School. I'm different. Like I, I like the rivalry now. You know, this is my first year, but I got so much respect for Goose being Coach Mike at church. I'm like, it's like me. I'm trying to beat my big brother or somebody I look up to. Like I'm, I always been a competitor. You see, I'm that's the side. I was hoping a guy that I, I'm a competitor. I had the opportunity to join Norfolk. Mm-hmm. You know, I'm gonna be real. I, I was contemplating. You can tell you, I was contemplating, mm-hmm. and then it took my wife to say. It's bigger than basketball. You got kids that come to Wilson, like just come to school mm-hmm. just because you're there. You're like a father figure. It's, it's bigger than I'm like, you know what? Yeah, I'm going to rock out. Because I felt like I got overlooked a couple times. But that's neither here nor there. And you say the rest is history. We, we here now. How you feel <laughs> but, uh, playing uh, in-house versus playing at Portsmouth School rather than an open school? I just look at it as a regular game. Like, a big crowd. It's regular game. You'll, you'll see. Yeah, you still fighting, man. Yeah, yeah, like, them games be crazy. That's my first ones. He touched, but like we had practice. <laughs> yeah, that's what I, I, I will. That's something like it's practice. I, I tell, cause you know, like us being like you said, up the upstart team. They like, yo, everybody else on the outside, yo, the pressure on y'all to beat me on pressure. On. I'm like, yo, that ain't no pressure. I said, I'm a gambler. That's why I use that now. I'm, I'm a gambler. We playing with house money because nobody expected Wilson to be good anyway. Yeah. They picked us to finish last. They said, we're going to be trying. So we finished last. I tell them, like, mm-hmm. as humble as possible, we finished last. But I know my guys, they know how I get. We won't go lay down for nobody. Yeah, I think I just like the big games. I always play good. Only <laughs> game I play good is I call them big game James. All my shots just hit the front of the room. Can't, can't have a bad night, man. Can't just, you know, everybody hell yeah, yeah, get bro. mad. Yeah. Only, only game has six points the whole season. What was, your, what was your best game this year? No of you. No of you. Had your 33. No of you. Sure. Okay. Best game. Oh, okay. yeah. Smithfield had what? 33? Yeah. Yeah. All layups, they said? All layups, no threes. <laughs> Demi had 31. Damn, I forgot about Demi. Yeah. <laughs> so, last year, what what is it like to like have y'all losing record? Like, nobody really showcasing y'all games. And then this year, everybody has y'all games. I mean, it just feel like this would be weird. Cause we we already knew what it was, like we've been trying to get 
uncle Drew and them to be on the staff for a minute. We done tried so many petitions, you know, and uh, try to get them. And then it just ended up happening, so we already knew, like, oh, yeah, this the year right here. We already knew, we already knew, like, not, no kind of, like, like I said, two years ago. It was two years. Mm -hmm. Two years ago. Two years ago. Yeah, come on. I, I knew it was that time. Y'all had, what, Wilson uh, had, like, four coaches in the last five yeah. years or something yeah. like that. Three had. losing yeah. records. It's had three losing records. Yeah, four, four coaches. I know my man Lance was there, Rex. Yeah, I was two and twenty. Yeah, two and twenty one. I was in middle school. He was coach. coach. I think Coach Cal went five and seventeen his last year, and yeah. Fuller went eleven and thirty three. That's why I said we won. You know, eighteen games. Yeah. It was like eighteen and seventy one. Oh, yeah. crazy like that. I was so, was yeah. yeah, he was a Northam kid. Like all of them was, and you know me like. The coach, some coaches that was at Wilson were like, yo, come, let's go to these middle school games and let's go recruit. So, you know, I'm like, I'm going to go, man. My man, I'm like, I'm new. I don't know about know me. I don't know none of these parents. So, I'm going to go. So, mm -hmm. we had the middle school games and, you know, coach said, yo, go recruit now. So, he was just like that. I'm like, what's up? And once I saw him, I'm like, oh, I ain't going to really say too much. This this kid got his mind set. He ain't. And then, you know, he was talking to him. He finally talked. And I was like, yo, you know what? At the end of the day, I don't know you like that, but I, I support all the kids. I don't care. You're a churchman, no you what. I, I, it's all about the kids. And he told me, I get a one day we practicing for uh, for Future League, and he walks in the gym. So I had Shaheen Cannon. I was like, don't trust him, don't, don't trust him. He ain't even know him. So I, I, you know, I was joking around with him. I was like, you over here stealing my place, I'm going to do something to you. We laughed him. He like, no, nah, I'm really coming to Wilson. Then I, you know, I'm like, yo, the rest is history, man. Like, we've been a family ever since. What what uh what made you come to the Portland soccer? You went to a school in Norfolk, right? No, I went to school. In, I, I went to uh, church, but uh, I went to too many schools. The name <laughs> school. But you know, I had a, I had a different. My, my side of my story is a lot different than what a lot of kids go through nowadays. You know, I went, I started at Oscar Smith. Oh. I left Smith went to Bethel. I left Bethel with the Huguenot in Richmond. Mm. I love I love Huguenot, and I finally got to church, and then that was when Coach Zeno was coaching. Then I left there and graduated from Great Bridge. But I'm a Chesapeake guy through and through. You know what I'm saying? Like that's I'm a South I'm a South Norfolk guy. Um, my honestly speaking, I was there. I started when I first got back down here. I started at Churchman. My coach Glover was there. Then when I I went to go watch them play Churchman because I wound up leaving because they fired. Well, the Glover stepped down, and I didn't know Q and Coach Stag like that. So I stepped off. And so when I seen Coach Smith, he remembered me from playing at Churchman. He was like, "What are you doing?" I was like, "I'm trying to coach." And he hooked me up with Coach Cavill. Coach Cavill got me with him. And we did the summer league that year. Yeah. And um, once we fell into place, we were like back and forth from JV to Boston. Because Coach Cavill did, was not, he wasn't a part of none of it. He let us do it. And they wound up hiring Coach Cavill as the athletic director. And at that point, me and him looked at each other like, so what's going to happen? <laughs> and we one day we came in and Rich was there. And Rick hit me with the old oh, uh, green. You gonna be like the manager type? I said, oh, "Nah, that's not gonna happen." <laughs> I said, "Nah, I know too much about basketball to be a manager." So he was like, "Look, just stay with me, and we'll finish it out that way." That's when you know it all started from there with me, anyway. Um, but honestly speaking, if I could, if I could, if I, I could have chosen a school to stay at, it would have been Great Bridge, only because they gave me a chance to actually finish the school and graduate. With what I had going on on the outside of school, like they really, I had every teacher, every every principal, every guidance counselor in there, making sure like I was being checked on every block because they knew what my situation was, you know, and for them to push me through being the type of school that they are, they saw a young black kid push through, mm -hmm. and they were extremely happy about it. Like they didn't know my mom, they didn't know my dad. All they knew was when my sister came up there arguing. It had something to do with me being stupid, so they yeah, pulled me back in. And I actually played the first half of that season at Great Bridge, and then I was deemed ineligible the second half. I went through that uh, Southeastern District, uh, we, had a, we had a meeting, and they voted, and I want to say at that time it was only the, the nine teams, not ten, and, and they voted six against three. So Great Bridge, Western Branch, and Oscar Smith gave me yes. Every other Southeastern District team said no. Nah. Come to find out, Lakeland principal was the president of the Southeastern District. And, you know, Coach Parham, who, was, who used to be the coach at Wilson, called him. He was like, hey, man, why ain't you call me? He was like, I could have at least told him, like, hey, the situation at hand. He was like, it wasn't really, your, it really it wasn't your fault. 
my grades weren't bad. You know, it was just the situation was just messed up. So, but just to be around these group of players, like I tell them, you know, ain't nothing guaranteed. Mm -hmm. And that being the position that they in is really a blessing because you got parents that support you, you got people in the city that support you. Me, it's a good player, but only the people in the Richmond knew about me. Yeah. When I came back down here, everybody was like, well, yo, he used to go to Oscar Smith. What are you doing at Churchill? Or, you know, people like Coach D-Nice, like Coach Angela, he, he made sure that I was straight too. So I never turned my back. I would never turn my back on the kid just because I know I was, what I went through. But if you ask me, if I could coach it at the school, it would have been great for I already knew all of us were coming to Wilson though. We had our little group back in middle school. <laughs> and we all used to play football and we all were going to North Met first. And then we just was talking about it and it was like, which school we gonna go to, which school we gonna go to? I wasn't in that group though. Yes, you would. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I left. Yeah, I'm saying you went down that with the North and then y'all yeah. didn't think about coming to hell. What's, what's funny is, as, he, as James told you, I had him in eighth grade. So he played for my JV team in eighth grade. He was getting beat by everybody. Mm -hmm. So, you know, here we go practicing, practicing, getting ready for future league. And I'm like, yo, what James at? So we play, get ready to play Norco. He playing for North. <laughs> I'm like, oh, I play, oh, I play with you then. Yeah, you, but you was playing with me. Yeah. So, you know, his story happens. Real, real facts. We beat him. We beat him. <laughs> so, you know, Wilson had this thing called Freshman Institute. So I see Nile and Shadow. They played for me. I'm like, no, nah, Shadow, what James doing? They're like, no, he coming to Wilson. Recruited. I'm like, Oh, so he's back, man. The rest of the history, man. The guy like, man, I wasn't really going there. I was just playing with everybody. He was playing with everybody. He played with Smith, too. Smith. Yeah, he was. He played with everybody. Ryan's Christian. Portsmouth Christian. I said, man, what is this doing? Great Ridge Christian. I'm just doing whatever. Everybody's bad, man. Yeah, he turned the plan at home, man. And, you know, the rest of the history, man. He's got to tell you, I love these guys. We all like one big family. We love our cheerleaders, man. They they held it down for us. Like, we ain't nothing pretty much without them. They they was on the road with us, and. This group right here is special. I'm going to always remember these guys. The school going to always remember these guys. Absolutely. And this school. How did school in the city back y'all from having this great season? I was in the city. I ain't seen love. It's a lot of big love. I ain't never heard. Some people talk to me. I never talked to them in my life before. I promise you, I didn't ever talk to them. I don't. I ain't gonna necessarily say fake love. I just say it. a lot of it is. Bandwagon. Bandwagon. Yeah, me and that, that's my mom to these guys, man. Like Lord willing, they all I said, let's run this ish back. I ain't gonna cook up. Let's run this ish back because Lord willing, they come back, we come back, let's do it again. I got four starters returning. I'm losing Davis, of course, but yeah, we you know we just said we got the next man up mentality. You know, he'll be a sophomore, he's gonna grow more. As far as basketball wise, like the kid is just different. He, he one of those freshmen. He was out, you know, he was he played for uh, coach, the JV team during the summer. So I never put him with us because I'm thinking like this kid. There's no way this kid coming to Wilson for real. I knew it. I'm like him and Ryan played with us. They not coming to Wilson. And then one day he messaged me and said, "Don't say nothing." He gave me he put the little orange and blue diamonds up. I'm like, you know, my eyes. I'm like, what are you trying to say? I'm gonna come to Wilson, but don't say nothing yet. It ain't confirmed yet. So I'm like, all right. So his daddy called. Him. Hey, little Mike coming to you, take care. I got you, man, you know. And, and this guy came in the gym, ready to work. You know, some of my guys was upset that I put him in the star line. I'm like, man, this kid can play. And he just spread the floor, you know, allowed James to drive. They collapsed on him. I got shooters around. And everybody bought into the system. Yeah, and, stuff the blue, like, yeah me, me, I'm one of those coaches. I don't believe, I'm like, I don't believe it just because you a senior. You play no. Everybody, everybody can't play. This is high school basketball. It's, we're trying to prepare you for the next level. You're not going to college necessarily. Like you know, in, in the past, people were like, well, I play for Wilson. I can do what I want. Not under me. You ain't gonna just do what you want. Cause as you say, I'm trying to build a program. Yeah. And like my coach from Hope Well, Irby always said, like, I don't want just one win a season. I want to build a winning program. So these guys are the foundation. I said they gonna always be able to come back and look up on that wall and like, yo, y'all did it. Not me. No, y'all did. I always give them the praise. When we lose, come to me with it. I, I lost. I did something wrong. Even though you know something, they might, but blame me. Yeah, that's why they they gonna roll. They gonna roll with me. They know I'm back now. Especially him, man. This kid driving me crazy. But I love him. Though. He like fam. He driving me crazy, but love the kid, man. How you feel about that? What um, the Smithfield game that y'all played against? No, that's flat. Y'all did score hundred points. I, actually, we didn't think that. We thought it was way better than they played up there. Yeah, yeah. We thought it was way better. Like, this. this how it was. No disrespect. We knew 
King's Fort was good. We knew it. We weren't scared of them, but we was like, yo, we all showed up. All my guys, we was all yeah. at the Indian River versus King's Fort game. Because I knew we was trying to get them back, everybody acclimated back from Andrews and all that. So once Indian River beat King's Fort, we was like, really? hold on. So that put us on me. We already knew we was playing James Town. Oh, so he put us on this side of the bracket. And that, that's what, I mean, to me, I would use my, oh, these are some tune up games for James. Because I was like, no disrespect, we were spanking James Town all summer long. We knew, and I we never seen Smithfield, but I'm like, no disrespect to anybody. We play in the Eastern District. Uh -huh. They're in the Bay Rivers. I'm like, we done lost to Norview. That's a challenge. More of them, like, hmm. But to <laughs> slap him like that, I'm like, woo. Yeah. But he finally listened to I told him, well, I, I call him Big Guard because he, he, he could play outside. But me, him, me Green, we were like, man, Dominic inside first. And let up. Man, that kid went for 33 all inside. They couldn't, they couldn't do nothing with him. Or, I think. It was like, I think every time we just come out fast, you know, get a quick little three ball, we always mm -hmm. just be lit. And then when Cat started dunking, and they're like, I ain't mean to hurt dude feelings and put my, my tongue out in his face. <laughs> it was just basketball, you know, yeah, just lit. Man. It's like everybody played better with him before the ball. He just, he's he's he just made everything better for him. He's like he played a right way, like yeah. an original point guard. Right? Yeah, that's like, what I said. Point guard, he's, he's, play. he's yeah. an extension of me. He's he's our true leader. Like he can, like his, James can really score if he wants to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nobody know like he can really score thirty if he easily wants to. Like, I just describe my game as like a Chris Paul type of guard. Yeah, yeah. He get he get he the dimes for yeah. Plus, like I'm coming off an injury, so I'm not gonna try to do too much because I can't turn my hand over like. Like I can't do it this way, I can't do that with this one. So I was like, I'm just do get get my get my dimes up, assist, you know. <laughs> like eight assists. You know? yeah. like how how y'all feel about uh Kai come up? Cause last year, you know, he was good. He had a lot of good dunks, but this year he was like Man. He was oh, like, people wanted to see him. The, the reason being is because he's playing in a different position. Like, he was playing with his back to the basket all last year. From what I seen when I was at, I was at Granby last year. Mm -hmm. So yeah. I watched him play with his back to the basket. And he's, let's be real, you was at ODU. You seen nobody, nobody's playing with their back to the basket anymore. That's not the way that it works. And him being transitioning to college, he's going to be somebody's shooting guard or stretch mm -hmm. four or stretch three. He played that way because we, we kind of opened his eyes up. You know, he was so used to just, you know, give me the ball in the post, you know, give me the ball at the high post. He never really stepped out. And now that he stepped out and we worked with him, me and Coach worked with him over the summer on shooting and how to put, dribbling and shooting, and, you know, pulling up, he he got comfortable. He didn't play up tight. He didn't play like something was wrong. He played like he loved the game. And I think that that made a difference in his mentality of what he – he opened his eyes up to what he had and what he could use to do what he wanted to do. Yeah. I mean, I'm proud of him because I done, me and Kat, we done been playing with each other since we was like seven years old. Like, before we even started playing like real organized basketball, like going out in the park, playing street ball, curve ball, like, <laughs> we was little kids, like, used to do dumb stuff for no reason. Like, I'm proud of him. Yeah. I'm, I'm just be real, man. As he said, the kid was playing quote unquote center, but all of them can tell you. Me, I tell you right now, drop all that title. Well, I don't have. I play positionless basketball. That you're not a center. You ain't going to nobody call for center. You ain't but six five for yeah, yeah. Six six maybe. So you know that that made him feel like I get him a chance to showcase that I could step outside and shoot the three, and you know I can put it on the floor a little more. And that's why I, I got like a four hour one in offense. I don't like that. You a center or making him play center? No, you, yeah, y'all the biggest thing we got, but that's why I call you a. They call you big guard. Like if you if you got a big man on you, then you come play your guard. Little man, what we say? Barbecue chicken, throw it to him in the paint, and he went to work all playoff long. The kid showed what he could really do. Like for real, like we would have kept going. This kid, the way he played in the playoffs long, he would have got first team off of that. Like he, he was dominant. Couldn't nobody stop. No one kid could stop him. This guy right here, when I got to get in his head, and talk. like I only got to talk too much to him. That's why I like him so much. He can tell you, MJ always look at the bench. And I give him the eye contact. He's like, so quiet now, but every time he's playing, no, no, he got dog. Him. He got dog. In. He, uh, <laughs> I know what's happening. Like, like, I know. You know, look, look, look how they look right there. Man, I'm getting each other. Look, he do that right there. Like he really got like he a freshman. He don't got no freshman master. At yeah, all. He, he got he's a little mature for his age. Mature for like, yeah. He the kid. I just look at him like him. Like I be, I start off like this on the bench. I'm, I'm trying to see if they gonna figure it out before I stand up. So then I see him do something silly like drive or shoot up. 
Double clutch three or something. Like. Yeah, he always yeah, made that face. I got it. Uh, you see that face? Yeah. When he go coach, I spray my game. I spray my water bottle. I spray my water bottle. Stand up. Oh, I look at him like. You know what I'm? I got you. He said they huddle up. And he ready to go. <laughs> <back. laughs> then he go. He go stop. He gonna call a timeout or something. Or he gonna wait for somebody to do something dumb. All the words coming out. <laughs> yeah, like that's. I'm gonna go down. Yeah, we're gonna start sweating. Yeah, we're gonna start sweating. We're gonna have time. I look at school board. We was up by 20, like we was like Graham and Ferguson, we was only up by, we was up by 20, blowing them out. So shit still ain't good enough. Y'all ain't playing no damn good. They got too many damn points. I said, they scored 10 in this quarter, y'all has to run every point they scored. Man, I'm going to lock that in. 86, 36. I was like, this, this team listens. I, once I, I knew that they would listen, I'm like, yeah, this is going to be a special team. Who's your leader on the team? Who's the leader? Oh. Um, Look at like I don't see how one people like, like we, we, we know what it's, we know what people we know what time to step on like everybody knows what time to step on like, like, like I, I said we all get on each other like, like, say if I'm doing wrong they'll pick me up if they doing wrong I tell them like boy. like nobody care like if like you gonna get cursed out like ain't no little, little female still like you gonna get cursed out yeah, yeah, call these words all day you can have four okay. and I'm gonna, like hell here take man I, everything now I do yes everything now I do because <laughs> and then I mean I told them like one day my wife was like man maybe your expectations too high for now so I kind of told him he like no 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 I want you to keep them expectations because I know I can play by so I'm like I fuss at him I fuss at James that's the same face I get right there like he smiled I'm like yo he's gonna cool. him he uh, uh, him him he just get real quiet. Here. Yeah, and then he just start teeing us. So like he start bombing through. And as James said, we're a team that fed off each other. Like James hit a three, and we get a steal. He throw a lob, they will cast him. I'm like, oh man, he go, he go yeah. to blow out. Then yeah, cause MJ will come hit a three. Now I get a steal and then punch that. Thing. I'm like, oh lord, this team showing off right now. I then Jamal gets to hit a three. It's like it's crazy. The first game I think I came to when y'all played Deep Creek. Yeah. <laughs> my, my, uh, <laughs> what was it? <laughs> my, uh, I think my pinky yeah, was like with this. Yeah, 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 but you came on, you, you shot. That was a funny game. It looked like y'all was having fun. Yeah, 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 that's yeah, yeah, that's yeah, not yeah, 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 yeah. the culture was changing. Like yeah. they on the they on the end of the bench supporting the, the younger guys when they got to play time doing a little shot, nothing thing falling, nothing dragging on them. <laughs> this is like, a funny guy right here though. <laughs> this like he he be face snapping like he's playing. Yeah, 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 he be trying to play at the same time. I don't like he be funny. Yeah, like, right there, I be I be into it more. I think I be into it wanting to wanting to wanting to see certain stuff more than they want to see it and. Like sometimes I'd be like, man, if he was just in the right place, if you would have seen how this happened, how this would work. But they, they play the way that they want to play. That's what I like about them, though. You know, they don't, you know, me and Drew might say something to them, but overall, they play to what they feel together as a group is what's comfortable. And sometimes we got to get at them like, man, no, you got to see it from what they were like, well, you got to see this because this is what we're seeing on the court. And it helps us as a coaching staff, you know, help them put them in a better position than what they are at the end, but they do an excellent job. Whether we sit down and standing up, they always show up. Um, so what what's the locker room like after that after that loss? What loss? Which one? King Score? Laughing. Yeah, right. They was laughing. They were laughing. They were playing around. They were like, they were playing around. Like, so I was mad. I was mad. I was mad. Like, like, he was he was always that mad though. Yeah. Like he like he like he like he like, he like had another game. Yeah. yeah. I, 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 I was mad at myself though. And I like, 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 still again. I'm always the type of coach. You know, I played. I get another chance. I played. I played chess, man. Like he got me. I wanted to win the region. I did, but I already know win or lose, we still qualify for the states. And I was telling you, we played Cortland. We beat them. That was a two and a half hour ride. Got on the charter bus, came back, had a great practice. Waited to see who won between Halifax County and Millbrook. Found out it was Millbrook. Told the guys we got a four hour ride. They logged in, went there, took care of business, and, and then we was like, this is what we want. We, we didn't want it no other way. Once I found out King Fork beat GWM, I'm like, this is what we wanted. And we, we actually had a hotel room scheduled. For Thursday night, had, had my you know, mask and everything. You still had your mask. Yeah, my mask. And, and just to see these kids sitting in the hallway and cry, man, we all we all cry. Yeah. Because we was happy and sad once they announced that that little coach state. We, we all, we you know, it's happy because as you said, we came from the bottom, and you know, mm -hmm. we was in the penthouse, and, and we just wanted to play those guys, and it hurt us that we we didn't really get the chance. Man, I'm the type I would rather play and lose uh -huh. than. This, but I mean, like you said, this, this whatever Corona thing is, is serious. So, you know, and I got two daughters and they got families too, and I wouldn't want to jeopardize that. So, at the end of the day, God don't make no mistakes. 
Heard that for a reason. Yeah, and I tell you, I was snapping. They stayed oh, chasing. Yeah, he I want, I want. It I came asked. on Wednesday, right? Because I think I was out eating. Oh, Thursday. It yeah, came on Thursday. We just yeah, we was about to eat. I had our bad snack. We all had bad pot ready. And then about 1 30, we get up. I couldn't even finish. Play, I'm, I'm checking Twitter. I'm like, hold on. What the hell are you talking about? Like, I feel like said, Coach Champion. I'm like, no, we want to play them. Yeah. And my head was like, I was yeah, be aware of the HSL said they just, it's too risky. Uh -huh. So I'm like, yo, I'd rather them, like, people got to look at it this way. I would rather them go ahead and call us Coach Champs than just cancel it all, all in all. And uh -huh. these guys work hard, so yeah. hard, both teams. So, like, we can, I mean, we can split it and, you know, as I say, set up a benefit game, hype, hype my guy. And as I told you, next year, these guys will be home around. We can do it. Let's run this back. If, if King Fort, if everyone stays at King Fort, Man, y'all all gonna stay together. Stay. They gonna see us again. Who wins? We win. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yes. Bro, I'm sure y'all gonna have. I'm sure y'all gonna play like that's gonna be like y'all. I'm not game. gonna. Y'all gotta set that yeah, up. Yeah, yeah, first first game of the season. Honestly though, yeah, that's, they do need. I, I, I don't yeah. care what you play because in basketball you gotta be able to play on the road. But uh -huh. they never play us at Wilson. No, never. So I just like. If you beat me at Wilson, I, I got to show you. I got to show you. I, 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 I got to show you. Know, you know I, I got to show you. Come beat me in my gym. But I don't even play you on a neutral floor. Like, you know what? Even though it's just a team camp, we play that same as that team at ODU team camp. And yeah. It was an arm. <laughs> and the two times that we lost to them this season was the Fall League and Air Gym. And then the Regional Final. And Air Gym. Not making excuses, but I'm like. Clint, that's why everybody, I see all these people, man, yeah, y'all just get all these teams together, let's play it in the office somewhere. No, sir. We can wait till this thing. We can, if y'all want to do it, like, let's wait till it all blew over. Let's still play in Richmond. Yeah. Take the biases out of it. Mm -hmm. You beat me there, I'm going to live with it. I just think they caught me on a bad night. You know, I never have two bad games, yeah, you know. It was just kind of like, you know what I'm saying? Who else going for 50? I promise you. <laughs> Yeah, I had a game plan for that. He definitely had a special year this year. Yeah, yeah. the kid's special, man. Yeah. All, all respect. That, that yeah, kid's special. Him. Yeah, we respect him. We just competitive. You know, Jaden and the kid can flat out play. One of the best. All, 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 all the Tyler, yeah, all you know, G, George Bill. I yeah, just feel like we the complete team. Though, like, you t I feel like you take Elps and Q off that, like, put, uh, off that team. They not the same team at all. Yeah, I mean, you take... But then you have to say, you, you got to really take James. Take James. We, what? Oh, we still, yeah, we, we still. We did it. We already did it. We already did it. We proved it. This is what I look at. They ain't like, had no interest like, at all. No, and no, no disrespect. I, I, I'm just being honest. I feel like James and Jaden cancel each other out. I feel like Quinn and, and Khalil cancel each other out. Man, no disrespect. You give me Nas versus Tyler. I'm see a lot of guys don't know. I'm taking Nas. I know what he came with. Then you give me George Beer versus MJ. It is no. I have work. The, the price is in the pudding right there. They, this kid is special. They, they good too, but, mm -hmm. you know, and it's all. I oh, hope they see this. I definitely want to see the rematch. He man. Man. I don't know that and got way more numbers. They might have not let me in to do media. But I was going to come to the game. I was going to come and see it. Because I definitely wanted to see y'all. I wanted to see the five days as well. Yeah, right. And I made much respect to Dream Run, man. What they went through and the Princess oh, Anne girls, man, respect. Like for her to go out there and do that, yeah, that was special. That girl was special. Yeah, yeah. she tough to play. I, yeah, I don't man, know that, if that I could have been able to play, man. Yeah. Yeah. That's why I said the next day, pretty much, she went crazy. I, I'm, you know, I'm following because we're getting ready to play in our game, man. Oh, yeah, I'm like, yo. So I showed Khalil because Khalil had lost one of his best friends. I'm like, look what she did. This her blood, brother. I was uh -huh. like, she went for 41. What you going to do? Khalil, man, come out there and play the way he plays. I said, yeah, you know. Oh yeah, he did. So, I mean, yeah, it was like the same. It was like the same week, right? Same week. Um, yeah. He played on JV, right? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, white boy. 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 White and then we got hit with another tragedy right in front of us. Oh my God, how are my kids gonna play a game? Yeah. The Thursday before we play, how are we supposed to go Friday and play a good court in the team, man? Man, them guys showed me right there that they mentally prepared for anything, man. I couldn't be more proud of these guys. Yeah, that's crazy. Well, I appreciate y'all coming. Yeah, appreciate appreciate y'all, man. man. Appreciate I'm that. looking forward to y'all playing. You gonna get more mixtapes? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what? No, what y'all offers looking like? Y'all getting any offers? I got Xavier from Coach Jonas, and a lot of interest. 
a lot of interest. Yeah, kind of split it. You know. What about you? He's more on the football side. Yeah, he got tempo. What about you? You get in any schools hollering at you yet? No, but it's something looking at him since eighth grade. He doesn't even have to look at him since eighth grade. I need some basketball for the league. He doesn't even have to play. What would you rather play? Basketball. You're tripping. <laughs> I tell him I'm tired of football player. No. It's a big enforcement that was history enforcement for football and then played basketball. That's like football being one of you. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's kind of like that. Yeah, for real. But I talked to him last night. He called me last night. Congratulations me and stuff. What's up? Yeah, I respect that guy, man. That, yeah, man, that guy you. respect each other. I ain't even from the city, man. Mm -hmm. I met him, man. He he kept it real with me since day one, man. He was coaching with y'all, right? Yeah, yeah that's what I said, man. Home. We did the little soccer thing. Oh, and look, we did the little soccer thing. Yeah, me and me and like one of us did soccer coaching. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. when we go, me and being tripping, like, yo, we coaching soccer? What we got? Ain't say that. We girls undefeated, man. We out there blowing people out. Like, we look at each other on the bus, like, yo. Coach, we all here coach for soccer, man. He like, yeah, bro, we, we just he gonna start cut doing. it out, man. And I want to have him stay, but you know, unfortunate situation. He, he out there living life, you know, mm -hmm. proud of him, his brother, you know. What What's the summer like going to be for y'all whenever y'all be able to get back to the gym? Yeah, we'll get in this lab. And we'll I'm going to do that already. Fall league, but hopefully, I won't have, I won't have these two. I probably won't have neither one of these guys. So yeah, let me develop some of my younger guys because he playing. No, no, I'm talking about <laughs> Boo. Boo. Uh, no, 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 man. I'm talking about Boo this year. Yeah, he, 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 he's locked in like, like he's going to play for the freshman in the 15th. He's definitely going to play He's a little cute. Y'all doing any AAU coaching this year? And me, nah. <laughs> I, I love that. Like, I wanted him to start like a little development thing just for some of our kids and me. My guy's got a family. That's Yeah, me. I coach soccer at the school too, but I'm, 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 I'm gonna spend now, now I'm gonna spend some time with my wife and daughters, and I'm still not gonna neglect these guys. I'm gonna be in the gym with them in the lab, but as far as it is, you right now, no. I know I'm, 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 I'm gonna join in different the different ring right yeah. now. I know every, every Saturday, Saturday well, once we get back, every Saturday we'll be in there from like nine to twelve. Like as soon as I get off of work at night, I just go straight to the gym, work them out for like three hours, and send them on their way. Like I said, it, right now, the season starts for next year today. Mm -hmm. Austin, last year is over with. Yeah, now it's time to the clock this year. I can't let them go. Yeah, I'm not saying it's the last one. We, we want to show everybody this ain't no fluke. We want to run it back and I know, yeah. win another one, put back to back banners up there. That's how I'm on back to back. Huh? Appreciate y'all, bro. Appreciate it. No yeah, it's seven cities, you know, um, James Prescott, you know. So shout out to seven cities, man. Shout out to seven cities. Prince Pop, baby.